Dear students and teachers, welcome back to the video series on science passing package with continuation right advantages and disadvantages in building a dam. The advantages of building a dam is it is used to produce hydel electricity and it helps in irrigation and also controlling floods these are the advantages of building a dam now we'll see disadvantages large areas of agricultural land and human habitation are to be sacrificed second disadvantage large ecosystems are destroyed when submerged under water in dams third disadvantage the vegetation which is submerged rods give rise to methane gas which is greenhouse gas these are the disadvantages of building a dam large areas of agricultural land and human habitation are to be sacrificed large ecosystem are destroyed when submerged under water in dams the vegetation which is submerged rots anaerobic respiration takes place give rise to release of methane gas which is an greenhouse gas these are the disadvantages of building a dam now moving to next question metals do not release hydrogen gas on reaction with nitric acid why hydrogen gas is not evolved when a metal reacts with an nitric acid because hno3 that is nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent it oxidizes the h2 produced water and itself reduces to any one of the nitrogen oxides that is n2o or no or no2 next question write the si unit of a electric charge is coulomb electric current ampere electric potential difference volt resistance ohm resistivity ohm meter electric power watt next question state laws of refraction first law the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal to the interface of two transparent media at the point of incident all lie in the same plane second law the ratio of sine of angle of incident to the sine of angle of refraction is constant for the given color and for the given pair of media these are the two laws of refraction now the next question draw a neat label diagram of longitudinal section of flower which is an important question now the bonus question name the two ends of soap molecule that is micelle that is ionic end which is hydrophilic end second sodium or potassium salts of long chain carboxylic acid that is hydrophobic end these are the two ends of soap molecule